People don't realize how nice I am. Look at here. I got my neighbor out here getting some free fishing lessons. Not gonna charge him a thing. <laughs> oh. Get him, Rob. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, Rob. Get him. Get him. That's a big Kroger. Get him. Look, I got it all on video, too. Woo! That's a nice smile for your sister. <laughs> Turn it sideways so they can see what size he is. There you go. Ain't big as the one I got. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it wasn't like this when I was out here with Lee. Look, Lee. Too bad it wasn't like that when we was out here. Look at that island. Look how quick it's getting small. Look at the boat route. Look how quick we covered up on the boat route. And we got a cooler full of fish. Look at there. Look at there. Took him fishing yesterday, and I feed him today. <laughs> and he eats. I gotta pay him back for all that work I made him do taking my fish off the hook. Yeah. This is what you call fish on the half shell. Got the fillets from the black drum. Got it all cleaned up. Got the skin and scales on it. And then I got me a mixture. a mixture right here. Olive oil, just a dash of that. Melted butter, a little bit of lime, lemon juice, and some Old Bay and a little bit of that Lyra seasoning salt. And put it all on here. And gonna go through it on the grill. Gonna throw it skin side down, down first. Let it tighten the skin up, make it hard. Make a shell, then I'm gonna flip it and go meat side down for maybe a minute. And then when I do that, I'm gonna go back skin side down and let it finish. And we're gonna be eating it like lobster. There you go, I just flipped it. I put it on skin side down. I just flipped it and I let it cook the meat on the bottom. But before it gets flaky, flaky where it falls off, I'm gonna reflip it back skin side down. And then I'm gonna close the top and let it cook it good all the way through. Put me another layer of my mix on top. That good old Dijon seasoning. Now I just flipped it back on um, meat side up. Get ready to put me another layer of glaze on it. And then I'm gonna close the top for about a minute and that's gonna be it. Is it, is it good? We got the dough. It's good. <laughs> And that's the end result. It's just a little bit salty, but it's good. Yeah, I should have put that seasoned salt in there. I was wondering about that. You heard it. It'll come back and let you see this last bite. It is perfect. It's only salty tasting on just the top where the seasoning is actually at. But when you get into the meat, it's actually perfect. Yeah, it's expert. But so the lesson to be learned here, if you add them ingredients, just add a pinch of Lowry seasoned salt. Because if you add too much, it could be over salted easy. But look at that, it is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just right. salted down on like right the tail end, where it was real thin and it was just laying on top of the meat. Mm. I got a man in his time I kept the dentist's office. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> mm. I got a correction. The man said he either sound like he at the dentist's office or at the whorehouse. Look <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all that meat just cooks right up nice and juicy. And look at here. That skin. But if you do that without the uh, shit scales, it's going to tear apart on you. Leave the scales on. Yeah, you got to leave the scales on. If not, because the scale shells, it holds it together. So you got to leave the scales on. If not, you have a mess. But you could eat the skin, but you're going to have something that's going to break apart and fall down in the grill. So, 
leave the skill. So if you look at that right there, you can see the separation right here. Look at there. That's all skills falling off. It makes a little shell and it works perfect.